An impressive cavalcade of America's fighting services heads the procession to the Capitol as for the first time in American history, a President of the United States proceeds to his third inauguration. On the eve of his 59th birthday, Mr. Roosevelt achieves a distinction no other American has attained. Thousands cheer as he rides behind the flying wedge of a motorcycle escort. Surrounded by cars full of Secret Service men, he's more heavily guarded than ever before. The presidential car turns into Pennsylvania Avenue on its journey to the great Capitol building. The climax of this historic occasion comes when President Roosevelt takes the oath of office administered by Chief Justice Hughes. With all enemies, foreign and domestic. I, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me go. The president now addresses the nation with his momentous inaugural message. In the face of great perils, never before encountered, our strong purpose is to protect and to perpetuate the integrity of democracy. At the newly convened 77th Congress, a message of profound import. Let us say to the democracy, we Americans are vitally concerned in your defense of freedom. We shall send you, in ever-increasing numbers, ships, planes, tanks, guns. That is our purpose and our pledge. 